This is Math 142, Practice Test 2. And we're going to do problems 13 and 14 together since they, they have the same initial conditions. And uh, so I'm told that sine u is, uh, is 3 fifths and cosine of angle v is negative 7 25ths. And these both terminate in quadrant 2. So let me get a little sketch going here so I can figure out some things about u. Um, angle u. So sine of u is 3 fifths. So this height is 3, that means this radius is 5. So I can get this by using Pythagorean theorem, square root of the radius squared minus one of the sides squared, that's going to be a 4. And now 4 is just the magnitude, the length of it. So it's, I have to think about the direction too, it's going to the left, that's a negative 4. So that means that cosine of u would be negative 4 over 5. All right, uh, cosine of v, let's, uh, there, that's also in quadrant two. So cosine of v is negative 7 25ths. So that means that this x value would be negative 7, radius is 25. Again, I can use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the missing side. So square root of that radius squared minus one of the sides squared. Uh, let's see, what is that going to be? 24. And it's going up, so it's fine being positive. So that means that the sine of angle V would be 24 over 25. Now I have all the pieces I need to, uh, to figure out that and that. So let's see, sine of U plus V, that is the same as uh, sine of the first one, cosine of the second one, same operator, cosine of the first one, sine of the second one. So let's see, sine U is, is 3 fifths. Cosine of V is negative 7 25ths plus cosine of U, negative 4 fifths. Sine of V, 24 25ths. A little bit of multiplication here. 3 times uh, negative 7 is negative 21. 5 times 25 is 125. And that is plus uh, negative 4 times 24, negative uh, 96. It's also over 125. So if I had negative 21 of them, I add negative 96 of them, I'm going to have negative 117 of them. So there's what uh, the sine of those angles added together would be. Cosine of those subtracted. I know that uh, the cosine subtraction formula is cosine of the first one, cosine of the second one, opposite operator, sine of the first one, sine of the second one. Let me plug in those values. Cosine of u, negative 4 fifths. Cosine of v, negative 7 20 fifths. Plus, sine of u is 3 fifths. Sine of v, there it is, 24 20 fifths. So I just plug all those in, do a little bit of multiplication. Uh, that gives me a negative 28 1 20 fifths. Plus, uh, 3 times 24, 60, 72, 72. 125ths, negative 28 plus 72 is uh, 100. No, that cannot be. Oh, look, this is positive. Aha, uh -huh, negative times a negative. That feels better. Uh, that's 100. Uh, and that reduces to 4 um, fifths. 